What up guys, how you all doing? So I've been laying here for a little while, can't sleep, I'm in so much pain. Um, my tender light is killing me, um, my knees are hurting and the base of my spine is hurting. So this vlog is to show you what it's really really like when it gets this bad so let me go loo and all that and then i'll set you all up okay i'll see you very shortly so guys i'm going to stick a heat on and let you see how bad i can get Well, it's never stable when it starts paying up in the kitty. As you can see, I'm a little bit weak on my legs and I keep going off balance. because of my back. <sighs> so, <sighs> so I'm on crutches. Takes it out, of, out on me, it does. Um, let's move my teddy. So I'm leaving the heat on for a little while. Excuse this. And obviously, Kitty gets worried. Now you've seen almost the worst, but not completely. The worst is where I cannot feel my legs at all. So, let's move you over here, shall we? I'm going to have a cigarette um, on camera this time. <laughs> because I've been doing so much my tender light is playing up and so it's my back and my back affects my me uh, my strength in my legs as well so that's why i was losing balance i was losing balance because Tender lighters makes me lose balance. And my ankles are swelling up. So after this vlog, I won't be doing any, anything and I won't be vlogging for a little while because I need to rest until my mum gets here. Um, my back ain't as bad once the heat is on. But it's more my knees and my ankles. If it was really, really, really bad, I won't be able to feel my legs. As you can hear, the bell, I got the um, kitty's collar on her last night. She gave in. <laughs> You're not going to see me smoking all the time while there. And if I get banned, I'll get banned. I can start a new channel or something. Let's hope I don't get banned because I've seen people smoking on cameras before. Um, so, yeah. 
but I won't print this vlog out out of it out there because you've seen me being able to do a lot of things and you sorry that's key you've seen me having pains in my hip that's part of the sciatica I have so obviously this is about abilities my disabilities so I'm going to vlog it as much as I can. When I'm on crutches, I can't really do much because you'd be like, you know, all over the place. Um, but I want to do this vlog to show you that I can get bad. If I get really, really bad where I, can, I have to call to the bathroom, I will show you that. Um, but obviously when I'm on crutches and when I'm like, that, like I say, that I can't feel my legs, so I have to call. I do have to rest, and I do have to, like, stop what I'm doing for a little while. And obviously, it's almost Thursday now, and my mum's coming down on Saturday. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff from Saturday until she goes home, which will be Wednesday. Plus, I've got a hospital appointment on Sunday. That's the day I'll be vlogging. So, I ain't got much more days to rest until I've got crack on with this house. That's why I'm not going to be vlogging for three days. At least three days. Or two, two days, because I'm going to put this up. Um, tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Um, but I might do it um, later, depending what time I go to sleep. Hopefully with a bit of sleep it will help, but I just want to show that my mobility is as what I say it is, and I want to show that I'm not Um, pretending, if you get what I mean, because I've been written off work, and don't get me wrong, I, I wish I did, can work, but I've, the doctor said I can't work, because I will end up in a wheelchair like my mate, um, and I am on disability live allowance as well for this, but I won't prove to everyone because they all know, professionals know, I'm not lying, but everyone else thinks I'm lying and just on benefits for fun of it. I'm not on benefits for fun of it, because don't get me wrong, I miss working. I get bored being home 24-7. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed. And that's for life. Because what I've got is for life and it will decrease more and more. Sooner or later it will paralyse me. And it's going, because my mum's got the same thing and it will paralyse her. I was born with my sciatica and curve to the spine because, especially the curve to the spine, because, um, I was never like laying straight in my mum's tummy. I was always like curled up. Um, and, and the sciatica was passed down to me. And we found out my mum has sciatica and we don't know who she got that from. Cause that is, you can pass it down. And that's what I'm worried about with my daughter cause it can be passed down. It's like my mum's got asthma, asthma. I've got asthma, my mum's my mom's got asthma. My dad, my mum, me, but um, all got epilepsy. Mum and my brother has got diabetic, diabetic, they're diabetic. Me and dad both have mental health. 
we're here voices and other stuff uh, we get a flashbacks and PTSD and all that um, me and my mum both have thyroid but we've got I've got underactive my mum's got overactive and she had to have operation for hers my dad me and my mum all low in iron that's why I'm on vitamins um, what else me and mum got sciatica and we all me mum dad and my brother all wear glasses um me and my brother we 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 can pull off twins because we look exactly like identical because everyone is so used to seeing half siblings me and my brother we're not half siblings we've got the same dad and i'm proud we've got the my last names uh, feature which is most of it most of it is my nan who rests in peace and my granddad mix of them two passed out to my dad and he's passed it down to me and my brother and we both passed it down to our children So there's a lot it, out of all four of us, we've got the same. And yeah, it it does affect me a lot. Um, sometimes I can't sleep, even with my anxiety tablet. Um, sometimes I can't get out and about. Sometimes I can. It's all down to the day lately but i'm glad you're getting to see middle of it now um so you've seen the good side where i could do a lot thanks to my back medication i could do a lot now you're seeing now the middle bit the next bit you need to see is how bad it will really really get for me this is awareness of a video <coughs> because i don't look like i've got mental health i don't look like i've got a mobility problems or anything because i can do a lot but the thing is don't judge by the cover because i've got scars yeah on the outside and the inside and I've got other medical condition I do not want to say because it's personal certain scars I've got outside which is my c-section um, I've got a scar on my leg because I dropped a wax on it I've got two scars on here this arm now because I've got another implant so two implants was put in this is the second one i've had i've got some scars on my hands from the wrist brace and from the hospital with that inside i've got scars up here in here and in my tummy i've got the scars in my tummy from c-section but the reason why i got told i couldn't have children is because my depression was really 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 bad before i met my ex and i was on the pill and i took overdose and on that i'm not proud of it and ever since then i struggled and my daughter is a miracle but anyway let's crack on with the vlog and i'll see you shortly so i'm going to end the vlog here because after i've had a bit of sleep i'm okay now still a bit of bad tenderitis but not as bad so please like subscribe share with your friends leave a comment push the bell button for notifications and i'll see you next time
and please go follow my friend link down below and i'll see you next time